Alright, so I'm walking over to the print shop today. Um, I got a question yesterday about some women asking me how we price products and how do we know when you increase prices and decrease prices and you know, I remember I was kind of reflecting on that for a second and uh, I remember how difficult that was actually. I remember like the pricing products just in general was like changing prices, understanding how that, that was a very complicated part of getting started a few years ago. So um, I created like a little framework that I use for it. So today I thought it would create a little illustration. Mind you, my handwriting is not very great. Uh, and I probably do, will misspell some stuff in this. But uh, I'm gonna create a little illustration just to show you how we price products, um, how we calculate pricing, and how we um, measure things to uh, increase profit. You know, the, the goal is really just a time and material type setup. So uh, when I get to the print shop, we'll, we'll go over that. And I'll create the illustration for you. Okay, everybody, this is uh, just a quick illustration on how we price our, our projects, right? From uh, letterpress, invitations, business cards, stationery, anything that has a semi-custom or custom element to it. Um, whenever you think about it, we like to break things down. So when you think about your projects, your pricing, it's normally two things. There's time and the material. Uh, a lot of times you, you know, don't calculate your time as anything. So what I would like to show is a complete illustration on how we, our framework and how our process works. So, okay. So the very first thing you have is your initial contact. And this is when someone sends you a quote, they send you an email, you know, you meet them at a wedding show, you're hustling on the streets, through connections, friends, forms, Etsy, however it is that you get your bride or your business card, business to you. And what I'd like to calculate is how much time it has from the time it gets to my email, and I put this in Google Docs, I, I, I put this in, um, I like to calculate how much time it, you know, so it comes to my email, you know, I assume like five minutes for that, and then I usually have a 20 minute call with them, and from that 20 minute call, there's usually, you know, one to five revisions on a proposal, right? Sometimes they want one color, two color, double sided, however they want it, right? So I like to calculate all that time in from the time it comes to my inbox, or a phone call to the time I contact them back to the time I, or I change you know, uh, the proposal around a few times, all the way up to the point where they say, yes, you're awesome, I love you, I wanna go forward, or no, I hate you, I wanna go somewhere else. That's basically it. So we're gonna assume for a second that they wanna go forward with you. The next phase we like to calculate is your design time. And this is the fun part. This is the part why most people get into invitation designs or letterpress, right? You're usually a designer or you love design itself and you want to uh, create and share that with the world and, and you want to make people happy through your designs, right? So that's, what, that, that's the time there. And what I like to calculate with the design time is basically, you know, however your process works. Is it three rounds of revisions? Is it five rounds of revisions? However your process works um, for that, right? So I'd like to calculate if you're driving to Starbucks and you're spending 30 minutes to drive to Starbucks, meet with them an hour, driving 30 minutes home, that's two hours. You calculate that into this design time. That's you know a couple of things you want uh, to just keep in mind here, right? Is every ounce of energy you have into this project management of the project, rounds of revisions. Calculate how much time that takes you uh, overall. And it, the funny thing about this though is when people get started out, they initially think that their time is zero, right? They think their time is worth nothing because they could be watching, you know a TV show or whatever instead of doing this. So right now you've spent a lot of time and you've calculated your, your, your pricing at zero at that point. What we're trying to do though is get you to get a time equals money, right? That's the reason why we do this um, because we're trying to make more money through this. All right, so time equals zero, forget about that. That's dumb. All right, and then the third piece you're gonna work with here is the production time. So the production time is where you get into your material. So this is the part where you, um, you know, you create the product. You know, you think of all the time you have into that. So the time into that would be like, you know, actually physically printing, going to a commercial printer if you're using them, cotton envelope liners, to time you're gonna, you know, if you're shipping online, how much time you have into that. All the time into that, and this is where the material comes in, the paper used, the envelopes and things like that, right? So um, what we wanna do is you basically take those two things and we're, you're gonna, so you're gonna get all your time at that point, and you're gonna get all your material, and we're gonna come up with a, a time, this is, you could've guessed it, a time and material estimate, right? And what we do for the material side is uh, this. So the time we already have, right? You've already calculated that. 
So on the material side, we're going to do things like ink, right? Ink could be uh, how much you know letterpress ink you're using. If you're ordering custom Pantones, if you're mixing that ink together, if you buy you know a letterpress ink and you're mixing it together, that that time mixing it would go to with the time. And then plates, you know, if you're making plates yourself, or if you're buying them from box card or Concord Engraving, how much that cost is. Don't forget about shipping. Liners, you know, uh, for liners, I like to think if I'm doing digital liners, how much how much money I'm spending eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper, how much toner we're using, how much time it takes to cut the, the liners down. Even on uh, digital ink, so digital ink is things like I know that when we do liners. My toner cartridge costs about $350. I can get about 50 invitation suites out of that. Uh, also on the, um, the second calculation has envelope printing. So I have an inkjet printer that I use for that. I know that the inkjet cartridge is about $20 and I can get five orders out of it. So I know how much it costs me per order to do that. Your envelopes. So your envelopes are things like, you know, your invitation, your five by seven envelope, your RSVP envelope. If you're doing an outer envelope, you want to calculate all that together and how much that costs. If you're doing a custom envelope, how much that is, right? So you want to understand that how much that all costs you too. And then the final piece here is packaging. So, you know, however you do that, are you shrink wrapping it? Are you putting it in a pretty box? Or are you or just putting it in paper? However you do that, however you package it up, uh, you know, you wouldn't do that. So then what I do is I come up with that number. I come up with th that total number. Um, and then what I do is I put that into a Google spreadsheet. So I have my time and I have my material and I put those into a Google spreadsheet. And then whenever on the material side, on this side here, what I strongly suggest you do is this, is whatever this material cost is, you want to add 25% to that material cost. And when I add 25%, I don't take out dealer discounts. So if you're getting, you know, a percentage off from paper presentation or paper source or envelope mints, I don't include that in that 25%. If I'm a dealer and I get a dealer discount, if I'm, a, and if I get, if I'm getting a dealer discount and it's 10% or 20%, that's good on me. I don't include that into this, into this uh, scenario. All right. So, and what, and the reason why you want 25% could sound like a lot, but when you really think about it and you break it down, you have about 10% into waste, if, if you're a good printer. Uh, you have about 10% into extras. And the extras could be that you know, your client wants 100 invitations, but you know, they come to you on Thursday night and they want 110, so you're trying to accommodate. If you're already thinking that you're gonna create 110, right? If they want 100, you're creating 110 for them, then you add 10 more percent on top of that. So you'd be like 120 or 122. And then, of course, you want 5% for your portfolio, and that's where the smiley face comes in because uh, that's the part that you love, and that's the part that you can share with other people. And 5% and honestly isn't even that much, so when you really think about it, 100 invitations, that's only 5. So 25%, some cases it could be 30%, um, you know, so calculate that out for you. When you get that final number, though, what I like to do is, again, I like to put that into the Google spreadsheet. And then you're going to calculate, calculate, calculate. So, all right. So, what you have here is you have your time and your material, and you have the final number. So, I have another little handy little sheet here that we'll go over. And let me just move these out of the way. All right. All right. So, this here. And this is how it all comes together. This is how everything comes together. So, okay. So, we're going to make some assumptions here just for the purposes. So, you have these in a Google spreadsheet. And, uh, I mean, you can use Excel, too. I like Google because I can take Google on the go. So it's par it's partially on my, you know, I have, I have the app on my phone. So if I'm at paper source and there's a certain price for something, I can take a picture of it and then just uh, type it in or, you know, just type it into my phone real quickly into that spreadsheet and it uh, updates my calculation immediately. So, all right, in this situation, let's assume there's a scenario here that you have the time wise, we're gonna say you have 15 hours into this project. 15 hours is from the day that they contact you with an email to the day they walked out as a happy client and they're telling all their friends with high fives. So this is the part where, you know, you're talking about, we're calculating how much time you have into meeting them. We're talking about how much time the design time, how much time is into the production time overall. And then we're gonna come up with the material cost. And we're gonna say for this scenario that your material cost is $250, right? So that, that means that, you know, the paper, the envelopes, the ink, all that, you have $250, for this one order. And then you come up with how much you want to charge. 
And then in this scenario, we're gonna put $500. So you charge them $500 because you're like Undercutter's Pizza, right? And uh, overall, here you go. Your profit for that would be, can you see that? It's $250. That's $250 in profit um, over this. So let me just do this real quick. That's $250 in profit. So what that means, if you understand this, is $250 is what it cost you in material. You charged $500 and you have $250 in profit. Simple enough, right? So what I'd like to come up here to understand is how much your time is worth. And in this scenario, your time is worth about $16.50 an hour. And how I get that is you have $250 in profit, you divide that by the 15 hours, and you get $16.50 an hour. It's good money. But this is how you understand like how much you're really making for your time and material of a cost of an invitation. In some situations, you may find out you have way more than 15 hours. You might have 15 hours into the design time alone, right? So you may be having 20 or 30 hours in there, which is gonna just bring this number down. So what you wanna do is look at it like this, right? You're gonna look at everything you have in your time. So you look at the, 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 the Google spreadsheet, right? You're gonna check out this Google spreadsheet again. And you're gonna look at your time. And maybe you can save a few hours. Maybe you create a process sheet. Maybe you find out that you're spending too much time on revisions. So maybe you create more pre-designed suites for clients just to pick versus doing everything custom. And we're gonna say maybe you can get your hours down to say 12 hours by doing that, right? And then on the material cost-wise, maybe you're looking at it and you see that I can, you know, I can I can buy more envelopes or I can buy more paper. Um, and that will save me a little bit of money and I can get the material cost down to $200. Now, in these kind of scenarios, the things you want to look at it, you would probably want to look at it and go like, you know, this is where you determine, this is where you determine like, is it, does it make sense for you to do the envelope printing yourself? Because you may have two or three hours into that. You can send it to a commercial printer and that commercial printer may charge you 30 bucks. Right, and this is where you're going to come up with that scenario. So, okay, in this scenario, you cut your time back because you create a little more processes. You cut your material back because you're buying a little more in bulk. You're still charging $500 because this is what basically you feel that the client will demand and that's okay. But then your profit changes to $300 instead of $500. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take, you have only have 12 hours into it. So not only did, did you make more money, you have less time into it, which comes to being about $25 an hour. Now in this situation, you've just increased your rate buy almost $10 by doing this uh, situation. Now $25 an hour is really good money, right? Most people in America don't make $25 an hour. So this is how we do it. And then, you know, you can kind of look and go, where am I spending? So this is just how it, and I, do, I look at this every three months to six months to understand like, can we get more efficient? Or can we, um, you know, find ways to cut our cost? So that's how we do it. Um, yeah, and so uh, just things you'll want to look at too from this will be, uh, you know, I can just tell you right away, it's like, Envelope printing is one of them for sure. Should you do it in house? It's costly. It, um, or should you give it to a commercial printer? That that's a, that's a big one for us. Um, and then sometimes in some cases, depending on the kind of letterpress equipment you have, it doesn't make sense for you to actually do the letterpress or to use outsource to a, a letterpress printer, right? So there's a couple different you know scenarios here, but you'll know this and how this fits to your business model, and this how this works for you personally. So okay, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Thank you. All right, so I hope the video was helpful. Um, I think, uh, you know, it's one of the things where if you can calculate that stuff, then it helps, you know, keep me forward. So a lot of times it's not a common that, you know, you'll get so caught up in a design phase of a project and you'll think like, I've submitted so many hours that I'm, I'm probably making like three or five bucks an hour. Um, but this framework will help you actually determine that. And then so you can actually improve your process. So in the future, you don't, you know, you can either come up with a better revision process or, you know, or maybe you decide you're gonna create some more um, pre-designed wedding suites so you don't have to constantly do everything custom, right? So there's different ways you can do that. And by looking at the framework, you can kind of measure that, how many hours you have in things, the cost, the material, and things, maybe, you know, and in that way, you can kind of just improve your process that works for you. So, all right, well, until next time.